Okay, I've put the negative to the negative in the PP, MPPT controller. That's a mouthful for first thing in the morning, but okay. anyway. I've just got to put the ring um, ringlets on the wire, but I've measured it and it goes from there to there for the negative and the fuse panel. So I'm gonna got my simple diagram. I've drawn it a few times and made it alterations, but I think I've got it pretty right. So I've just installed the negative to the negative on the MPP controller, and then I've run, I've cut the wire to run the negative from the battery to the fuse panel negative in the fuse panel. So now I'm going to cut the wires to run from the positive to the 30 amp um, breaker fuse to go to the positive in the MPPT controller. tape just here and I'll give a guide to cut here and then I'll put another one of those on. Okay so to cut the cables I've marked it with tape and the easiest way to cut it is you would never guess no fancy tool Nice clean cut, easy. All you need to do now is just cut down to take the outer plastic off and then just do a little snippet and it just peels off. So it's the easiest way to cut cable, I found. Um, yeah. Okay, so positive battery. Got to put the ring, the other one of these on to here and put on to the positive fuse. And then it goes positive to the, got to cut another piece for the MPP controller, very short one. Okay, next.
Because the cables come from um, Renergy um, all black, um, I'm just going to identify this cable as a positive so I don't muck up. So I'm just going to put a, uh, one of these sleeves over the top of it and then I'll know that that is a positive lead. Okay, so the basic wiring's done, and I'll just quickly run through it with you, what I've done. Um, I've just got to, um, apparently, the smart lithium batteries come, like, uh, st stored for um, transport, and, and even if you want to store it for long periods of time, you put it into kind of storage mode. Um, I'll talk you through that when I do it. So it's still in storage mode. So um, w with the wiring, I run negative in the fuse panel. I've done a negative to the van and earthed. So you see here. I've then done negative to the charge controller. And from there, I've done a positive to a 30 amp fuse breaker down into the battery to protect the MPP controller. So, and I kind of figured that that was 30, so I'll make the fuse 30. From the positive to the fuse panel, I've run a circuit breaker, 50 amp circuit breaker. Hang on, let's get a better view. Yep. So, Yep, so from positive to the circuit breaker up into the positive for the fuse panel. And I kind of made that one uh, 50 before it, it trips the switch. Now for the solar, I've run an Anderson plug into a 20 amp fuse into the controller, positive and negative. And then I've put a... 20 amp fuse in the in the solar um, I'm running a hundred and I think it's 120 watt a folding solar panel um, and the amperage um, is less than 20 amps so for that so it's, it's on the back of the panel so um, that was easy to do so yeah that's the very basic system um, Fingers crossed with all that studying I've done, it's will pan out. And that's the beat, uh, the wireless to this. So I should be able to have a look on the phone with it. Okay, so lots of fun. I've enjoyed it. Okay, to activate the battery. From shelf mode to normal mode, we need to use this little um, connector with a switch at the end to um, bring it off shelf life. So according to instructions, we put it into the UPS button and press this until it's blue.
and apparently that's it now active and I can you can tell because the MPP controller has just uh, kicked in so we'll have a look at that and uh, get that going Okay, so the controller is showing 13.2 and if I hold this right button here that will take me into the battery types now, as it's a, a lithium a lithium I so that's in just a tiny little bit in this corner there I'll bring her in and it's flashing that actually is LI um, so I've selected that by pressing enter and it'll bring me over as it's only I've only got the one battery so it's 12 volts and I hit and hold that down and that brings it back to the base um, start so now I'm going to connect my phone to the Bluetooth and be able to control it through an app okay so the wrap up of the uh, installation of the battery into the controller um, I installed a monitoring screen inside the cabin so that was quite easy that just connects straight into the ups part of the battery and I've got just a little bit more accurate control or be able to see what the battery is actually doing from within the cabin and I can also set it into storage mode from the cabin as well so it was worth installing that and because with the app it's what I found was I wasn't getting a good enough accurate as to the battery what, what where it was with the battery um, we installed the 30 amp charge controller Rover um, if I had my choice again I probably wouldn't install I probably wouldn't use Renergy to tell you the truth um, but that's my personal opinion it seemed easy enough to and it's worked I can't fault that I just think the build quality isn't there for what you for the money um, we've got a 200 watt solar blanket that we're connecting in through the Anderson plug uh, we decided not to go for the panels on the roof just yet um, mainly because with the heat here in Australia you kind of want to you kind of want to put your van in the shade and run your panels out to the sun uh, so the least you keep your van in the shade the better I think um, it's a 200 watt folding solar blanket we got from BCF um, had good uh, reports about the blanket it was very cheap it wasn't much at all 150 bucks or something like that uh, yeah and it's all folded up into a little bag it pretty much came with everything um, so far I'm very happy with that and um, but we'll definitely get a nice sunny day that we can really see what it really pumps into the battery uh, so I'll probably do a video later on on that yeah so yeah just another thing finished uh, we'll decide whether we need 100, 100 amp hour battery or whether we need more so we'll see we'll, you know, whether we run out of power soon or not all that but uh, I don't, the lights and all that doesn't use much and we kind of figured, you know, 100 might be okay for now. Anyway, thanks for uh, sticking by this long video. It's probably, probably a bit like watching paint dry. <laughs> a bit boring. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, uh, in the wiring side of it, uh, yeah. Certainly uh, it's worth doing a plan first 
Um, yeah, maybe three, four plans <laughs> like me. Anyway, uh, thanks for my subscribers for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.